see, we got the Frable or Frabil HQ 300. It's about 35 pounds, 36 pounds. And the brand new Otter Pro Monster Lodge, which is about 76 pounds. And we're going to set it up and compare. Okay, first one up is the Frabil, Frable HQ300. And this is the room inside. One more window open here. It's got the removable windows, plastic. And then the coated covering, the Velcro, and they do work very well to keep things dark, but there is, like most, a lot of pinholes, seams, and we will close up the window, or the door. it is and again it has a lot of seams that let some light in you can close them up a little better but for the most part when you add a flooring rubber flooring it is pretty dark allows you to see pretty deep into the water and with one window open it's daylight there's a couple of air holes, not that's the opposite ends. It's nice and tall. I'm about 5'9. Got more than enough headroom standing up. So as you can see, as far as quality, yeah, they do a pretty good job. Everything that's wood wear out is reinforced, doubled up. Never had any issues with any of the hubs. They're so really solid steel. And I mean, overall, works very well. Keeps the wind out, that's the most important thing. Keep the window usually stay a lot warmer throw a heater in it is still a lot of square footage so you kind of need a big heater to heat the space when it's not insulated so i did with this for a couple of years and i've upgraded to the brand new monster otter monster lodge pro which just came out. So this for Bill is about $4.99 Canadian Tire, different places. And the new Otter is was a thousand dollars and went on sale hundred dollars off. So nine hundred bucks and a hundred dollar shipping from Cabela's. They'll probably get sold out as the winter comes, but so far they're still available. Uh, extra straps. Got some pockets, mesh pockets for this one here. But I just really needed something bigger and plan on doing some outdoor winter camping on the ice. As you can see, some pinholes. That's just that's the quality. It's not cut or anything, it's just the material. Next up, I'll be putting together the Monster Lodge Pro. Stay tuned. And we have the Vortex Pro Monster Lodge by Otter. Comparison to the Frabil HQ300. The 
massive difference in quality, size, and this is my little wood stove that I will be installing to it. Just need to make a jack for it. And that is a welding blanket. Watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do it. I'll show that at a later time. And this is a Venshell outdoor titanium stove with two glass doors sides. So as far as quality, very good, very good. Everything is very durable. Holes are at least 50% thicker than the Fribille, but it's a lot more weight it's got to carry. Um, a little disappointed there's not Velcro all the way around these windows. It's disappointing just because when you get it closed, you get a lot of light coming in from around the sides. Where the other one is completely closed off. So there's almost no light coming in with the Fribill. Fribble. But I hear a lot of people saying that the gray interior is way better because for night fishing and night camping it, it allows more light to reflect brighter space which is true and it was dark when i had it all closed up but not as dark as the other one even though this is they have their patented seams that does not allow light to come through which it doesn't very good there the only problem is like i said Around the windows. Around the windows, you let it. We'll get a lot of light in, no matter how you try to pull it tight. Now, the amazing thing about these is the rod holders. It's rod holders and bags all the way around. There's four of them. Now, the new thing that this Pro has that last year's model did not is the walk-through door and then in doing that they pushed the wall out which gave it more space that's why it's bigger than last year's and the door i'm hoping holds up to the wind you know i could use a couple more of these little velcro straps to hold it good but one thing it'll save is i got lots of kids so the tripping walking in and out drives you crazy won't happen there is a normal door on the other side if you want to just go out that door and there is lots of storage space big screen on top another one on the other side there is propane jacks on either side which is good I have a buddy heater but I don't think it's going to do the trick in this much open space it's just the regular now this is another lower windows one more standing up to see your tip up looking for flags every two minutes So, again, as far as overall quality, very good steel, solid, looks good. I haven't seen any defects at all. A couple air holes pop up from the outside. As far as size comparison, the width is almost double what the other one was this is from the back wall but it's kind of a camera view so it's hard to judge depth the length is a I think it's three feet longer but the width is where you really really need to double your space it's massive massive it's gonna be it's already getting warmer here it's a nice day but it's definitely insulated
all the windows come out. Need so I'm gonna be building a stove jack for maybe just putting a hole in here, and lift it up on the welding blanket. Take a quick look outside. Got straps on every hub. These are the first things that pop in when the wind picks up, of course. The jack. Very, very good. Sort of cinching system they have. Put a bunch of snow on top. Strap these both down. Strap all the hubs down, and it should go nowhere. It is uh, a lot of real estate. It is a giant sail in the wind on an open ice, so we may want to strap it down. It does come with anchors, 12, I believe. One for every place, unlike the other one, which came with, I think, four, and I had to pick up some extras which are expensive when you buy them separately. Um, yeah, plan on doing some winter camping this year, so maybe have some videos of that. Any questions? Let me know. Couple loose threads here and there. A little sloppy sewing. Definitely looking forward to it. It's pretty thick. It's a 600 denier or Dan denier. Again, however people want to pronounce it. And as the other one is not insulated at all. So interesting to see how much the uh, regular buddy heater would warm this up. That's it for now. There's 13 anchors, and each one has a rubber coat, plastic tip. Not that you'll end up losing half of them, but it keeps it from ripping through the bag.